Hi, welcome to the part 36. We are looking at real questions. By the way, parts 34 and 35, they are in the members area, Cloud Kernel and Cloud Ninja members can access them. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. It will help you with certifications, various certifications on AWS, Azure, Google Cloud and so on. You can click the link in the description and become a Cloud Kernel or a Cloud Ninja member and gain access to the paid content. If you see these boxes, these are EC2 instances and uh, each instance we have to log the data. How does logging work is on each instance, you see this, this each instance, no? you will put an agent. Okay, that is how it works in on-premises also. We will put an agent in each box and that agent will run and collect the log files and then send. Where we send in AWS? So we are putting it in CloudWatch. So option B would be the answer. We will install CloudWatch agent and that guy will collect the logs and send it to CloudWatch. See SDK we use to write code. And then this code, why we are writing? We are writing this code so that it will write the logs into a S3 bucket, this one option a this is wrong okay see aws certification will test your knowledge on aws product see this is a custom solution right if you write code using sdk that means you don't want to use aws service so custom code we should not use we should use uh, try always try to use AWS service as far as possible. If AWS service is not available for that purpose, then use custom code. Now systems manager agent, no? it is saying you configure a document to copy log files to deep lens. See deep lens is a video camera. It is not for logging. Okay, so C is wrong. D is saying that let's use Kinesis agent and stream the log files to Kinesis Firehouse and set the destination as Elasticsearch service. But see, we we will have to minimize effort. You see this this one? It says minimize effort. But D will not minimize effort. D is wrong. It will maximize effort. So this is our final answer. See, you accidentally deleted the imported key material. What is imported key material? That means key is not generated within KMS. You have something called make in India you are not making in india you are importing it so that is and you have imported a car and somehow that car is stolen now you have to retrieve it see option d it says you have original wrapping key and import token original but you deleted so this will not work a says you create new cmk and so that cmk we have created that is fine then you use new wrapping key a new import token to import the original key also oh, the original key material is deleted how will we restore this? So this will not work. B says you use original wrapping key and import token to import the original key material. Mm, this will not work. C will work. We will download a new wrapping key and new import token. And we will import the original key material into into existing CMK. 
okay if we have to import it itself we will import it into existing cmk see new wrapping key this is a wrapper around the key material the key material is the actual stuff that will do encryption and decryption of data let us look at this next question you have two vpcs and they are these two vpcs they are paired vpc peering you can pause this piece to read it carefully in a nutshell it is just a connection between two vpcs simple they have communication problem and we have to fix it so what is the communication problem this guy sends data here okay so and this guy receives it but it never sends a reply so this guy is like you know request sent from so this is the web server web server is sending a request to the logging server this is a logging server but web server does not come to know uh, that means an acknowledgement is not sent whenever we have such scenarios this cannot be addressed by a security group solution that is why a and b are wrong we have to address using route tables this is how you have to address you can pause this section if you want to understand how route tables work routing should happen to the logging server that is this this server here logging server routing should happen with the subnet that hosts the logging server so this would be our answer so if you see in the steps whenever we use route tables we leverage explicit subnet association parts 34 and 35 are in the members area you can click the join button below this video or use the link in the description become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja member this brings us to the end of this part 36 we will post many more contents no other channel goes to this level of depth to explain the answers